The 90 people were arrested and indicted by federal grand juries in the last few weeks, but the investigation took months. Officers went undercover to buy drugs from the defendants, putting the pieces together to take down four separate drug conspiracies across Baltimore. Several defendants are also linked to murder and overdose deaths. We're removing drugs from the streets, we're removing guns from the streets, and we're removing bad actors from the streets of Baltimore. In the last month, federal efforts to reduce violent crime in Baltimore brought indictments of 90 defendants, removed kilograms of drugs, took away 51 guns, and seized nearly $1 million in cash. Maryland U.S. Attorney Robert Hur announced the results of the months-long investigation Thursday, flanked by officials from the FBI, DEA, ATF, and Baltimore Police. It included the takedowns of four separate violent groups in the city. The first, the arrest of 25 members of an alleged drug trafficking ring in East Baltimore. Among other things, investigators seized 479 grams of fentanyl. Which is enough to kill over 200,000 people. 38 people were also arrested in two separate drug trafficking organizations operating in Edmondson Village in southwest Baltimore. And these defendants allegedly cut the heroin and crack that they sold with other substances like fentanyl and at least five overdose deaths are attributed to the distribution of drugs by members of this conspiracy. 21 Baltimore men were charged in a drug distribution ring in northwest Baltimore. Some defendants also charged with a 2018 murder and gunfight. Six others were arrested for drug distribution conspiracy in southwest Baltimore. Commissioner Michael Harrison says the communities are already feeling the positive impacts. We get a lot of communications in person, uh, from members of the community who are thankful and grateful for the work we're doing, especially when they see it. And it becomes apparently noticeable when those bad actors are not there uh, terrorizing those neighborhoods. Harrison and her both say they look forward to continuing these crime reduction efforts. We're not going anywhere. We're here to stay and we will keep doing this work together. Some defendants are facing 20 to 40 years in prison. Others are facing life in prison. As of yesterday, the U.S. Attorney's Office in Maryland has indicted 215 defendants this year under Project Safe Neighborhoods. And at this rate, the office anticipates charging 50% more violent criminals than last year.